Hello everyone, um, how are you all doing? I hope that all is well with you. Um, today I am feeling a little bit tired and just like drained of energy. Um, I think this whole journey has been like a roller coaster. Um, but yeah, God is good through every circumstance and every challenge so yeah um yeah i just hope that you guys are all keeping keeping well and keeping up your faith and um yeah today i have a prophetic message it's not going to be for everyone but you will know if it is for you because this is what the lord has been speaking to you and ministering to you um, in your time with him and the Holy Spirit will have given you, you know, revelations, oh, sorry, revelations <laughs> um, pertaining to your personal situation. But yeah, this is going to be for those who are standing for uh, prodigals. You guys have had like communication um, and maybe they are back in your life, but you haven't really established like what like the direction that you guys are going so they haven't outrightly said like um I want to date you or I want to marry you yet but you guys are I could say you guys are friends <laughs> or you're getting to know each other once again so this is going to be um, a message for that group of people and yeah once again guys please do take every prophetic word that you hear um, back to the Lord and take me back to the Lord um, somebody commented the other day and asked how do we test the spirit behind you like as a prophetic voice and I love that question and I wasn't offended by it at all um but yeah I I encourage you guys all the time to please take me back to the Lord not saying that I'm like a false prophet or dodgy or anything but yeah just make sure that um this channel me and this ministry is one that you should be you know, listening to <laughs> at this time. So yeah, um, the scriptures that the Lord uh, gave to me are perta uh, pertaining to patience and the Lord's timing. So the Lord knows that um, for who this word is for, you have been praying and interceding and putting in the work for a really long time and um you feel a little bit worried because so much time has passed and um you're not necessarily seeing any forward movement at the moment and you are worried that too much time has elapsed um, and yeah for some of you you're actually growing rather impatient with this whole process but the Lord wants to reassure you and encourage you and also just remind you that all good things take time and uh, as much as you've been waiting and you are growing impatient your kingdom spouse is also going through the same thing um, and then there's other things that they are going through as well um, some challenges some of them are uh, how would you say it <laughs> like they're battling with their identity like the, their old self their old lifestyle and their old habits old mindsets versus them you know stepping into their new identity as a son of God, um, a friend of Jesus Christ, and also just the calling and assignment that the Lord has placed in their lives, okay? And it's not easy for them because some of them have lost a lot along the way. Um, they've made mistakes. Uh, some of them are still dealing with, um, you know, regret and shame and guilt. Um, so yeah, it hasn't been easy for them, but they know what they need to do. And um, yeah, they're, the lyrical message that I'm going to do after the scriptures is going to uh, 
give you more insight regarding them needing you to just be patient and wait and um, them telling you that they are going to come to you and come for you. Okay, so the scriptures for today, it's just, um, I think it's three, no, four scriptures. So the first one says, it's Ecclesiastes chapter three, verse one, and it says, there is an appointed time for everything and there is a time for every event under the sun. Um, yeah, guys, remember that you know, our God, Yahweh, Jehovah, Adonai, um, El Rui, um, he is omnipresent, omniscient, and omnipotent. There is nothing that happens here on earth or even in the spiritual realm that escapes his sight. He sees all, he knows all, he hears all, and he is everywhere. Okay, so um, he has appointed certain things to happen at certain times. And, you know, when we are in this state, in this physical realm, you know, just traveling through the earth and experiencing life in this physical shell that we call a body, uh, the Lord graced us and blessed us with a mind. Okay. But, um, as much as the mind is powerful and um, we can perceive things in our spirits, but we still have a very limited understanding of God's timing and just time as a whole. Um, I think the Bible does say that the, the Lord is um, the Alpha and the Omega, like there is no, he is the beginning and the end, but there is no beginning or end for him I don't know if that makes sense so time is just like like in the spiritual realm time doesn't exist you know that's why um, I don't know if it's in the bible but um, I read somewhere that like a thousand years is like a day to the Lord you know so we cannot comprehend that in its full sense and we never will be able to. And there's a reason why God um, limited our understanding. But what the Lord wants to tell you here is that um, he's appointed a certain time for your kingdom spouse to fully return to you, to um, for you guys to, you know, be united in holy matrimony and get married. Um, there's a specific time that he has ordained for, you know, them to come and apologize to you or to come and make things right. Um, and there's, you know, there's an appointed time even for the little things, you know. Um, he's appointed a time for you to wake up each morning. He's appointed a time for you to take your shower. He's appointed a time for you to have your lunch. And he's appointed a time for you to call your your friends or do your work or tie your shoelaces, right? Um, there's nothing too great or too small that misses or escapes our heavenly father's eyes. So yeah, just always keep that in mind whenever you are listening to a prophetic word. Um, and yeah, some, some words will say like, oh, in three months or before this weekend ends or before the end of July, this and this and this is going to happen. Um, just always take that with a pinch of salt like it's really great to receive that word and be in expectation um and the lord is saying that he loves how much you guys are constantly hoping and holding on to your faith because it shows that you believe what what he has spoken and um even though it may be out of season for you maybe that specific word that says by the end of this month such and such is going to happen maybe it's not for you um in this year maybe next year by the end of july he will fulfill his promise to you but for the fact that you are believing and you have um such fiery fervent faith in him to fulfill his word he says he sees that and he loves that and um don't let any disappointment deter you okay keep on having that faith okay but always have discernment and go 
back to him um, so that he can tell you whether the word is for you or um, yeah, he'll just give you more clarity. Okay. The second scripture, um, it says it's Psalm 31 verse 15, and it says, my times are in your hands. Okay. And I believe this was King David's, uh, Psalm to the Lord, um, just acknowledging the Lord's sovereignty. So the Lord is saying here that, your times are in his hands and because your kingdom spouse that you've been standing for, he um, he or she has now submitted to the will of God. Their times are now in his hands. OK, so God is literally holding you in the palm of his hand. Like, I don't know, you you're listening to this right now. I want you to like hold out your palm and like cup your hand and picture yourself just sitting or standing in the middle of that palm. That is how God sees you. Everything concerning you, like as you're holding out your hand, um, you're at a higher standpoint, so you have a greater view and you can see things from a higher perspective, right? Um, and let's say hypothetically, you could like move things around in the palm of your hand. Um, that's how the Lord is operating right now. So he's seeing you, he's seeing everything and he is also maneuvering things and switching things around and, um, aligning things, coordinating things, because your times are in his hands. You are in his hands and you're so precious to him. So, um, yeah, just remember that God is in control of the situation. Do not panic. Don't be anxious for anything. Um, if you are having anxieties and stress, throw them to the Lord and he will he will act for you and help you and calm your fears and anxieties. But yeah, you are in the palm of his hand and the timing of everything concerning you and your life and your assignments and your marriage and your blessings, it is all in the palm of his hands. Okay. And then the next scripture um, is Psalm 37 verse 7, which says, be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Do not fret when people succeed in their ways. So the Lord is saying, you know, some of you, <laughs> you've been noticing like your peers, um, your friends, and maybe even some prophetic voices on here, just like progressing in life. Um, I know a question that has been asked <laughs> quite a lot of times that I've received in my emails, at least is, um, how come worldly people, their relationships just seem to go so easily, you know, they meet someone when they're at the club or just living, uh, like an unrighteous lifestyle and they meet someone and they get married, have kids and they have success. Um, and the thing about that is, a worldly relationship is way different to a God ordained relationship. Okay. Um, sometimes in these worldly relationships that people just put together for themselves. Yeah. It's really great in the beginning. It's amazing. It's perfect. But then somewhere down the line, that's where, you know, the problems start to come up and, you know, red flags just become, even bigger red flags and um, some couples just don't take time to work through their issues. But with these kingdom marriages, specifically, um, you know, dealing with the prodigals uh, who ran away from God and ran away from their families, um, the Lord is so good because he, he has allowed us to see um, the red flags and the issues and the trauma, the problems, um, at an earlier stage before you got into marriage. So imagine you get married, you meet some, you meet someone and get married and then things are great. And then only later down the line, do you realize like, oh, this person has trauma or they have such and such issues. Um, I can't handle it. And you don't even necessarily have the right tools at your disposal because you don't know 
you know, you don't really have a deep relationship with God. So maybe you don't know how to pray about these certain situations. And also like the devil is not really going to, um, the devil isn't going to attack that union as much. So it's just, it's just a different ball game when you're in a man-made union and you don't consult God before marrying someone so it may seem like success um, for those worldly people but God has equipped us because we are in a deep and intimate relationship with him he has allowed us to see the hidden things about our kingdom spouses and then he's given us strategies um tools and um, spiritual weapons to fight against these attacks many many of you are prophetic okay so you've been seeing um things about your spouse in dreams. Uh, perhaps the Holy Spirit has communicated these things to you by way of signs and wonders and um, songs or a movie that you've seen. Um, and he'll just tell you, this is what your kingdom spouse is dealing with. Pray about it, pray about it, fight, go into warfare mode, whatever the case is. So you're actually at... <clears throat> At a, at a better position um, or a better standpoint, like you have the advantage because God prophetically reveals these things about your marriage and about your kingdom spouse and you're able to go to war and pray and cover them and protect them and the Lord strengthens them as well. So don't fret that, you know, other people are getting married sooner than you or, um, that they are reaching financial success before you because um, sometimes those marriages and those businesses crumble down the line. But these kingdom marriages, like your kingdom marriage between you and your kingdom spouse is something that is way bigger than you. Um, it's ordained by God, number one, and he has a purpose for you and your, your kingdom spouse and this this marriage and the family that you guys are going to build, it's going to influence generations. Okay. Um, and you guys all like from you and your, your wife or your husband and your children, uh, even your relatives and your friends that are in alignment with God, you're all connected. You're all interwoven together. And there is a bigger purpose for each and every one of you. And remember, we're all different parts of the same body. So each person has a different function. Um, the thumb does this, the toe does that, the eyes, you know, are given the gift to see, to foresee things. The mouth has a specific function. Um, the brain and the head has a specific function. So no matter what part of the body of Christ you are, you have a, a function, you have an assignment, you have a task to perform that the Lord needs you to fulfill, okay? And the same with your kingdom spouse. Now that they are submitted to Christ, they are part of the body of Christ too. And now you guys are going to work in tandem, okay? So yeah, don't fret. Just be patient, be still before the Lord and he's going to come through for you. All right. And the last scripture is James chapter five, verse seven to eight. And it says, be patient, therefore, brothers, until the coming of the Lord. See how the farmer waits for the precious fruit of the earth, being patient about it until it receives the early and the late rains. You also be patient. Establish your hearts for the coming of the Lord is at hand. And we know here that um, I think it was Paul writing to, to James. <clears throat> He's saying here, uh, or sorry, it was James writing to one of the churches. I can't remember. <laughs> but he's saying here that um, Jesus Christ is coming again very soon. Um, but, you know, we, I think even from back in those days, like just when the churches were established, they kept on hearing these messages like the coming of the Lord is at hand, like the second coming of Christ is 
is is is soon approaching and um it's been thousands of years later right we are still hearing the same message it's still being repeated and sometimes we might even um discard that type of message but the message still rings true you know we can dismiss it and think like oh Yes, Jesus is coming, but maybe in like 30 years or maybe in 100 years. And the truth is nobody nobody knows the time or the hour, but he is coming. And I think now more than ever, especially with the world events that are happening, um, the, the events that were that were written about, sorry, (laughs) that were written about in the Bible that we are seeing play out live, like right in front of us. I think now more than ever, we know that like the coming of Jesus Christ is very, very near. Um, So yeah, what the Lord is saying here, just like we are waiting for the coming of Jesus Christ. And remember guys, these kingdom marriages are not just about like, the romance, the love, the holidays and all of that. Yeah, like, yeah, that's all good and well, but it's ultimately God putting people together to glorify him, to spread the good news and preach the gospel and draw people closer to Jesus Christ and to receive their salvation and eternal life and a beautiful relationship with um, with God the Father, right? So the same way that we're waiting for the coming of Jesus Christ, and we don't know the time or the hour, but we are just like being patient, eagerly awaiting for our Savior to come and get us, and we'll be caught up in the air um, and raptured to to go to the new the new heaven and the new earth that he is establishing. And um, yeah, the same way that he's saying that, not saying that your kingdom husband or your kingdom wife that you're waiting for is Jesus Christ. No, 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 not at all. But the same way that you're waiting for Jesus and you're patient, uh, you're patiently um, standing and waiting to see the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Um be patient with your kingdom spouses coming, okay? They are going to come eventually. And the Lord will tell you, like, you'll feel that, um, I don't want to say like a rush of emotions, but your spirit will actually start telling you and the Holy Spirit will start telling you that your kingdom spouse is, is close by. They're coming, they're coming, but be patient, okay? Um, exercise patience. I think f- patience is a fruit of the Holy Spirit and maybe the Lord is making you wait to test your patience as as horrible as it sounds but the lord can do anything and he has every right to test our motives our hearts and our patience okay so god is just saying remain patient um and wait for your harvest you know you can't You can't like plant a seed um, or pray something and then, you know, expect it to bloom and grow and and be fruitful uh, the next day. It takes time, (laughs) okay? It takes time for some plants. You'll plant the seed today and then maybe like in... I don't know, two years or three years or even 10 years, you'll only start to see that tree grow or maybe it will only bear fruit um, after those two years, okay? So be patient, okay? This is a seed that you have planted. This is a promise that the Lord has given you and it still needs time to be nurtured, to grow, um, to establish roots and become firm before it can shoot up from the ground and produce leaves and um be okay i don't know plant i don't know um horticulture or plant stuff but it takes time right before the fruits uh start to grow and harvest right so yeah just be patient okay so yeah that is the scriptures and then now I'm going to go into the lyrical message and the lyrical message is a song by uh, Jordan Sparks and it's called Worth the Wait and 
Um, if this prophetic message is for you, this is how your kingdom spouse is feeling. And it's also the Lord just saying this, this promise when it comes to fruition, when you get your harvest, it will be so worth the wait. So let me pull up the lyrics real quick and then we'll go through them. And yeah. All right, so this is Worth the Wait by Jordan Sparks. And so, um, yeah, this is just how your kingdom spouse is feeling, if this word is for you, um, how they're feeling about your relationship, about you, and just an encouragement that they wish to send you. And it's also God um, just saying like, hey, be patient, wait, it will be worth the wait. Okay. So the first verse says, excuse me, I feel what I've been feeling for you means I'm falling for you. Something's opened up inside of me and I dream in shades that only can be the colors of you and me. I think we both know what that means. Okay, so your kingdom spouse, um, their love for you has awakened. This is by you know the doing of the holy spirit and what god has been showing them about you so um yeah they're just they're feeling like it's almost like a reawakening of the love that they have for you and the part that says i dream in shades that only can be the colors of you and me um a lot of you have been wondering like do they even think of you uh do they dream of you maybe you've heard that they've been dreaming about you and god has been showing them visions and signs concerning you and you've been doubting that but let this be a confirmation and a reaffirmation that yes they do dream of you um, I remember when I was, um, <clears throat> excuse me, still standing for my husband and I was just like wondering these things, like, does he even think of me? Cause it just seems like he left me by the wayside and, um, God would instruct me to like send him an encouraging message. And then my husband would respond. He would be like, oh, that's so crazy. I, I actually dreamt about you last night. So I was like, oh, okay, maybe they do dream about us, you know? <laughs> so um, yeah, your kingdom spouse is dreaming about you. They're thinking about you. And um, you filled their lives with color as well. Um, there's a song... Uh, I can't remember the song's name, but it basically talks about how the singer's world was just like black and white and it was so dull until their their love interest came in and then everything just became oh yeah, I think it's from a cartoon. It's called Technicolor or something. <laughs> but yeah, your kingdom spouse sees um, things differently their life is like full of color and full of wonder and full of love now um, because the Lord has awakened their love for you okay and they're saying like you know we both know what that means so uh, maybe they might be too shy to say that they're falling in love with you or maybe it's the elephant in the room but you guys both know what's up okay so the pre-chorus says, I stand inside this promise I made to myself, but I was meant for you. Okay, so the promise that they made to themselves was when they were still living that prodigal lifestyle while they were still being, you know, sinful and um, just running away from the Lord and running away from this union. So they promised themselves that they would never fall in love, that they would <clears throat> never, um, I don't know if I should say this, but that they would never be a simp for anyone. <laughs> um, if you know what simp means, like great. Um, but yeah, 
you can look it up in Google. Um, and yeah, they made the, this promise to themselves. It's almost like a vow that they would never fall again. And for some of them, that stems from the trauma that they've experienced. You know, they've had bad experiences in relationships. And um, for some of them, the counterfeit really traumatized them because they were stuck in this toxic um maybe even abusive relationship and after they left or separated from this counterfeit they were just like okay relationships are not for me um I'm not gonna fall for another person again but now they recognize um and they feel it in their spirit that they were meant for you so it's almost like this um this attraction and this this marriage this kingdom marriage is just in uh, inevitable and it's unavoidable like they know that they are meant for you and you are meant for them okay and then the chorus says <clears throat> if I fall if I break if I lose myself in someone if I give all I am it will be with you when I'm ready to take all that you want me to give it will be worth the wait worth the wait Okay, so they are currently, you know, doing some introspection and they want to come towards you and come and um, take you away and get married. They know the full, well, not the full picture, but they know what they have to do and they know who you are to them. Excuse me, but there's still a bit of hesitation and it's not because of you or anything that you did or the type of person that you are. It's more coming from their their desire to take things slow, okay? So it's not that they, they're going to run away again. They just want to do things differently because when they were in previous relationships, they rushed into it, Um and it ended in tears, you know, so now they want to do things differently. And God has been instructing them or guiding them to take things slow this time. I know it's a common saying that the most longest lasting marriages start in friendship. Um, <clears throat> and some people may like think about that and be like, oh, no, that's not true. There has to be passion and attraction and you have to have this whirlwind relationship. But it's true when there is a foundation of friendship, um, things just tend to last a bit longer. You know, there's longe longevity that comes with um, having a, a relationship or a friendship that starts in friendship um and also when the foundation is Jesus because he has or God has knitted this relationship together he has connected the both of you in the spirit already and you guys are both friends of God God considers you his friends because you've been obedient to him and you have built a really intimate and um special loving relationship with him so yeah God is part of that three strand cord that cannot be broken and when there is friendship you know there's there's a common goal so even if you guys argue or you know you have like you've gone through your separations but you always manage to come back to each other and compromise and find solutions and the love still remains you know um marriages also tend to evolve so um yeah as the years go by you know you might not have as much like romance or or sexual intimacy between you and your kingdom spouse but <clears throat> even as your relationship evolves and you start exploring different types of intimacy because you guys will have been friends first um, it's going to be easy for you guys to remain together and to remain connected to God okay so they're saying here that um they want to take things slow and they've made that decision that when they are ready to like be all in and to give their all to you. Remember, the Lord has been telling them that they need to um, 
give you a a self-sacrificial love they need to love you the way that God intended them to love you uh, which is with their whole heart you know giving you that unconditional love and to give themselves to you the bible does say that um you know the wife the wife's body uh, belongs to her husband and the husband's body belongs to um the wife so you guys are going to be giving yourselves wholly to each other so they've decided that when they are ready to take that step it's going to be with you and only you okay there's not going to be any counterfeits they're going to be completely focused on you and they're going to love you with their everything okay so yeah um and when i'm ready to take all that you want me to give it will be worth the wait so here they're saying that um because you have been so so willing to just give of yourself to them you've devoted yourself to them and to God as well um, and maybe they haven't been able to reciprocate that because they've been working through their own issues and um, they've been trying to just uh, heal and uh, go through their traumas and their triggers so they're not necessarily ready to reciprocate that but when they are ready to receive uh, your love and when they are ready to also reciprocate that it's going to be worth the wait so yeah be patient guys it will be worth the wait and then the song continues on in the second verse it says my heart, I want to save it for you. Don't want it broken into pieces. I need myself to be whole. And could we just sit and talk a while? I just want to see your smile, feel your sunlight shining over me. Okay, so here they're just declaring that they need to be whole again. A lot of you have been wondering, like, why are they so hesitant? If they know that we're meant to be together, then why? I'm sorry, guys. Um, Sis Buntle is cleaning my room. <laughs> so if you hear, like, movement and sounds, it's just her cleaning. So, yeah, they they don't want to come to you broken hearted and uh, uh, the Lord has also been speaking to you guys and saying that um, they can't come to you until they are healed and whole again okay so that's just God reconfirming that and reaffirming that to you guys and um, yeah once again could we just sit and talk a while just want to see you smile feel your sunlight shining over me so that once again is them just saying they want to take it slow like some of you are expecting um and I'm not saying that this is impossible but <laughs> for your situation um some of you are expecting them to just come and you know propose and it's going to be this huge gesture but um you also have to be patient with them because they may not be ready to do those things so once again building that foundation of friendship and just taking things slow um they want to get to know you they want to hang out you know just feel your presence and be in your presence because um, you do have a very peaceful presence and they love your, I don't want to say your energy or your aura, but like the love of Jesus Christ and the fruits of the Holy Spirit and um, the very presence of God is within you and they just want to take that in and experience that without any pressure, okay? So be patient, okay? And then it goes to the chorus again and then the bridge says uh, it will be worth the wait, worth all the long nights dreaming of forever. Someday we will be, be together. I know it will happen. So worth the wait. Oh, oh, oh. And then it goes again um, to the chorus. So, yeah, they're just saying here to please hold on. Please wait for them. Um, oh yeah sorry I forgot to read that line it says please wait for me <laughs> so yeah they're saying that this kingdom marriage or this reunion and restoration will be worth the wait because they have been dreaming of being with you and just dreaming of 
a life with you and um, doing the things that God has ordained uh, the both of you to do. And someday you guys will be together. Like if there's one thing that they know for certain is that they are meant to be with you, that you guys are destined for each other. The Lord has already um, united you in the spirit. That's why you guys have, um, you know, communicating in the spirit and God tells you when to pray for them and he shows you the things that they've been going through. So they know that um, that you are for them and that God is for the both of you. And it's just inevitable that you guys will land up together. So, yeah, please wait for them, guys. Be patient as they're dealing through their issues and healing and um, wanting to just do things differently this time. Um, it's going to be beneficial for um, the body of Christ because you guys are going to be building the kingdom and um, you guys are going to be ministering to people and showing the love of God towards humanity and they need to be whole and healed and fully submitted to God in order to do that okay so yeah please wait for them guys and then the song goes on uh, just to the chorus um, I'll just read it again for the last time. If I fall, if I break, if I lose myself in someone, if I give all I am, it will be with you. When I'm ready to take all that you want me to give, it will be worth the wait, worth the wait. It will be so worth the wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will be worth the wait. Okay, so yeah, guys, that's the song that the Lord um, or the lyrical message that the Lord uh, wanted me to read for you guys. And yeah, please just continue to be patient with this whole process and be patient with yourselves as well. Some of you may be feeling um, bad <laughs> because you're starting to grumble and complain and you're getting impatient and you almost feel like, oh, Maybe I shouldn't be feeling this way, but it's you're human. Um, it's natural to feel this way. And also, you know, God's timing is different from ours. So he understands that and he's showing you grace. But just remember, all good things come in their perfect time. And God wouldn't make you wait for something that was just going to end in tears or something that was going to hurt you you know God is still orchestrating this thing and he's still working in and through your kingdom spouse but yeah just be patient with with yourselves and with your kingdom spouses and be patient with God okay he has your best interests at heart all right guys so that is the prophetic message uh, that I have for now and I pray that it finds whoever needs to hear it um, and yeah just keep praying for these men and women of God because they are actually no longer prodigals the Lord has redeemed them the Lord has um, been doing work in them and very soon they're going to be stepping into their uh, God-given assignments and they need you by their side for that okay and God is going to bless you guys as well so um, yeah keep praying keep standing um, the prayers of a righteous person are so powerful um, and yeah one day your kingdom spouse is actually going to say to you or to someone or maybe they've already been telling the Lord this that um, if it wasn't for my God ordained spouse who was standing for me and praying for me and interceding, fasting and going to war um, on my behalf, then I would have been, you know, it would have been over for me. So they are going to express some sort of acknowledgement and gratitude because of all the work that you have put in um, for the Lord, number one, and for them. Okay, so keep on believing, keep trusting, keep praying, and keep standing firm, okay? Even if your faith in this whole thing and your faith in God makes you seem delulu, like in this case, it is the salulu, okay? 
<laughs> being the Lulu in this matter is the Salulu because God is surely going to honor you and honor your prayers and give you the desires of your heart according to his will and his time. So yeah, guys, I'll see you guys in the next prophetic message. I love you guys so much and thank you for listening. Thank you for your support and your love. I deeply appreciate it so much. All right. See you in the next one, guys. Bye.